Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. We are sharing with you six things that seasoned Amtrak riders always do. First thing seasoned Amtrak riders always do is use and earn points to get free rides. Now lately Amtrak <laughs> prices have been going up quite a bit. Uh, in the last three <laughs> or four years you'll notice quite a price increase. But you can still earn points, use them for free rides, and that is what we always do. So you need to be signed up for the guest rewards program or you are totally missing out. And you could also use that in conjunction with the Amtrak credit card which will get you a lot of points for free roomettes. Yeah, I do like the fact that you can sign up for the Guest Rewards Program. Uh, no strings attached, there's no fee, and you don't have to have the credit card in order to earn the points. Just ride on Amtrak and make sure that you use your Guest Rewards number when you book it, and that's taken care of. Now, the bonus does come in when you do use the Guest Reward, the Amtrak Guest Rewards uh credit card and on there you're obviously going to be used you know earning points a lot faster um, they get, you know you get more credit you do save some money on Amtrak um, on the train by using the card uh, and you can also earn status a lot faster now seasoned Amtrak riders also take advantage of the Metropolitan lounges not all lounges are equal though so they know <laughs> which stations you really want to do this in and which ones you really don't need to show up early to be at the lounge for. So we're going to give you a little taste of that today. Kind of the best stations to do this in are New York and Chicago. Maybe Washington, D.C. comes in a little bit third. Yeah, probably, I would say definitely those are the top three. If you're wanting a lounge experience, if you've flown before and you've had lounge experience at airports, you're going to want to do that and enjoy that as well with the trains. However, like Rob said, not all lounges are created equal, so uh, it's not always necessary to get there super early to enjoy the lounge. Sometimes uh, you can just pop in there five minutes, you know, grab snacks and a drink if you want, take that with you and hop on the train. But other than that, if it's not one of the top, you know, lounges, then you don't really need that much time to hang out there. Yeah, the lounges in like New Orleans or St. Louis, that's just like a room. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Just a smaller room for you to go sit in, which really isn't that exciting. So I would avoid getting to those early and just stick with uh, New York, Chicago, and D.C. Uh, next one is going to be to bring an overnight bag because we have seen it time and time again where first-time man track riders will get on and be like, it's midnight, they need to get their toothbrush, and they drag their entire suitcase out, <laughs> try to open the suitcase in the middle of the train, just to get a toothbrush <laughs> and it's like you could have done this so much easier if you brought an overnight bag with you yeah and we actually have a video here on the channel where i walked you through everything that we actually put in our overnight bag actually i share our entire three bag system um, that we use for packing for our train trips uh, in that video so make sure you guys check out that full video but you definitely need to have a, an overnight bag with you because there are some very important items that you need to have with you especially really for coach or for sleeper but especially for the sleepers yeah it's that quick access that lets you have the ability just to grab things not have to make a big mess make a big ruckus <laughs> You know, and if you want something, sometimes you're like, oh, I want to get something. It's two in the morning. It's kind of hard to do it because it's going to be kind of dark in the train. Mm -hmm. So uh, next one's going to be to use the showers. Amtrak season riders do use showers. Not a lot of people do use them, though. Uh, we, you rarely <laughs> see people using them. But the showers on Amtrak are pretty good, I have to say. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're never crowded. This is only for sleeper car passengers. But use the showers. You're going to feel way better instead of being on the train for three days without showering. Yeah, it's a pretty icky feeling. The beautiful thing is that Amtrak provides a towel for you. Um, they provide soap. I'm pretty sure most of them that I have been on have had shampoo. Um, and then sometimes they also have razors in there as well and a washcloth. I've never been in an Amtrak shower that was not clean. 
uh, mostly because it's just us using it. <laughs> no, no one else is really using it. it. You know, they keep it really nice. Um, and it's, it's a big enough space too. It's not like it's one of those little tiny ones. There's a good amount of space. It usually has like a dressing area as well. So do enjoy the showers on the trains. Um, but for the most part, you want to wait that it's on a part where that's not you're not going super fast, but there are bars in there where you can hang on to. Um, never really had any incidents in the shower. <laughs> yeah, we even if we have a bedroom which does have a shower, we still usually use the other showers in the in the bottom level because they're bigger and they're just better showers, so they're pretty good. Next one that season riders do is they eat a few of their meals in their room. If you're in a room or a bedroom, you can eat in the dining room. You can also eat meals in your room. Well, if you know that there's a great part of the train ride coming up and you have a window looking out on that side of the train, you don't have to go to the dining room where it's only going to be 50-50 that you'll get to see what you want to do. You can order your meal to your room. Yeah, and I love that option also. Like if, you know, you're tired or you just don't feel like, you know, being out and about and let's say you want to put your pajamas on and eat dinner in your room, you can do that. Um, and it's great because the attendants take care of that for you. They come and they take your order. You just let them know, hey, I want to have dinner in my room tonight. Tell you know They'll come and take your order when it's time. They'll go get it for you and bring it for you and then take care of it afterwards as well. So it's really nice to have that option on the train. Next one is going to be to call customer support if you have a big problem or a big delay, they are pretty good at taking care of you if you have faced any major issues on your train. I know you've called in a lot of times. How did it go? It went really well. Uh, I have yet to call and not have some sort of travel voucher added back into our account. Um, so that's not been a problem at all. Usually I call up and I say, hey, I was on such and such train. We had this delay, you know, it messed some things up or it was just really uncomfortable or whatever the case may be. Um, just kind of share that and they're always really helpful and like I said they always give you a voucher of some sort travel voucher back that you can use towards your next Amtrak trip yeah we've had that be as little as a hundred dollars all the way up to basically getting the whole ride for free when things went really wrong a couple <laughs> of times so uh, that is kind of our list of what seasoned Amtrak riders do hopefully if you're going on for the first time you can take some of these and try them out on your upcoming trip yeah, guys, hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you have further questions, leave those for us down in the comment section. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like, and we will see you next time.